Hey guys, it's A Kids Playing, Tyler, Ethan, and Caitlin down here from A Kids Playing. We're gonna dissect the worm today. We will be using Experiment 11.3 from Exploring Creation with Biology, the second edition. It stinks. I see the earthworm. This is so gross. I don't it's a really big earthworm. That is a gigantic earthworm. No, it's just a stressed out one. So. Examine your earthworm spe carefully. Why I'm going to let you do this stuff, Kellen. Rub your fingers lightly across the surface until you feel bristles. I always do it. I always do it. I, 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 I call it. I call it. I definitely think Ethan should do that. He seems like the perfect man for that job. What would a bristle be? He fits the criteria. Like a bump? Um, like rough? Yeah. It's over here is rough. Right here. This is, right here is like really rough. Like. Is it slimy? Kind of. Right here. This is the roughest part. Just feel it. Oh yeah, that's rough. <laughs> this must be the head. This must so be the bristles are the setae. Write in your laboratory notebook how many setae you find on each of the worm's segments. Oh. Sorry. Uh, I find about two setae on each segment. I Using a magnifying glass, try to find the nephrodorpers, which are the tiny holes near the bottom of many segments. Nephrodorpers? Okay. Near the bottom of many uh, segments interior and posterior. <laughs> To the slithelum. I hope I said that right. We're looking for little tiny holes by his head and his butt. Look at me, then. My finger is pointing at it. Yes, I see it. I see it. Okay. Let's see if we can find anything by his butt. How do you know you weren't just looking at his butt? Because this is right, but this marks everything closest to this is his head. Oh. Examine the slithelum in your laboratory notebook. Write down how many segments there are in it. I'm seeing one. Yeah, I see one. Two, three, four, kind five, six, seven, eight. Now you're ready to begin the dissection. Place the best specimen ventral side, the side with a setae, down on the tray. Pin the anterior and posterior end of the pad, as shown below. Now we can cut it up. Use your scissors to cut through the body wall. Start, Start about an inch posterior to the clitidum and just to the left of center. Being careful not to cut anything but the body wall. Extend your cut all the way to the anterior end, as shown below. Does anybody want to see the as shown below? <laughs> he doesn't cut easily. Pull apart the edges of the cut and peer in. Appear. Or you want to look into the cut open worm? Can I try? Just, just there's one part of the body wall that won't cut. Let me try with the scissors. I think I got it. I feel like I'm a surgeon or something. Kind of are. Okay. These, this big giant thing is his intestine. These, this kind of white line thing coming out the side are his septi, which are what he moves or dis, which he like small st stretches or shrinks to move. Using our forceps, using our tweezers and our probe. We're supposed to peel, cut the septa. So that we can see more inside. Now that we've seen stuff like the intestine. A little more, we can see it. to hold this part of his body open so we can see in there. I can cut the septi. 
right there. You can now see inside. Seminal vesicle on this side, seminal receptacle on this side. Um, up here is his esophagus. At the very top is the pharynx. Yeah, right down the middle is his pharynx. Over here on this side, there's two little white spots. Those are called ganglia. Ganglia. The two. His pharynx is right up here. Pharynx. Pharynx. His crop, which processes food, is right here. A little more down is like right here. Is his dorsal, is his blood vessel, which pumps blood like our heart. Then again, his intestine down here. Then right under his crop, which processes food, is kind of hard to see, is his gizzard, which also part of bloodstream. Yeah, that's right there. That's all the parts. All right, come here, come here. Take the glass. Look in there. Look through his poop. You should see two little white dots. Those are the ones in video. Can I see it? I want to see. Hold on, Ethan. I'm gonna see. Take it with him. I see one white dot. Two white dots. We have to. I read a bit. We have to cut out his digestive tract. Oh, oh! Pull one up the sleeves. Get really sad. You can probably use the tweezers for this. Yeah. Is there? Have it. Get cut. That's all his intestines. Well, this is part. This is not his intestines. I'll tell you what it is in a minute. His brain? Nope. More cutting. A part that needs to be cut a ton. Again. Right there that I made a poke in mm -hmm. is his egg sac. Ew. And that's his sperm sac. This right here that I'm poke in the middle, if I flip it over, you can get a better view. That thing right there in the middle is his slime tube, which he injects out of his body to produce, to give the sperm to another worm so that that worm can take its egg. And then he also, through this slime tube, takes his, the other sperm's, other worm's sperm and puts it into his own egg. Gross. So it's not really a girl or a boy. Gross. There it is. Got it. If you look in there, you can see it kind of glistens. Mm hmm You see right up there, do you see that it's kind of like a crack? Mm -hmm. That's an egg. Good. Thanks for watching where 8 kids playing. Like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos. Bye!